Hi guys, Sweet Nails here. So I was one of the ones chosen for this Influencer's Everlasting Lip Liner from Kat Von D. So I'm going to review this for you. Yay, I'm so excited to try this and I'm so excited that I was chosen. So let's take a look what's inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. Everlasting Lip Liner, Kat Von D. It is not this brilliant purple shade on the front that I got. Um, this is the front of the little booklet. It just says her name and the product, cruelty free. Woo, Everlasting Lip Liner. Okay, line design define. Everlasting wear meets light weightless color. Or weightless color, I should say. It is light. It does feel light and weightless. But, yes, this is Lolita. Meet Lolita. Is on my lips right now. And it is very nice color. You know, here is the packaging. It is simple and the same as you would expect from Kat Von D. I don't even know which way I can open this. Ooh, and inside the box has little stars. How appropriate. Okay, so this is the lip liner. Okay, it is wonderful. There is Kat Von D on the back here on the lid. A little design. And it does say Lolita on it, lip liner. This is E Everlasting, and it says that this lip liner combines 24-hour water-resistant wear and weightless color. This comes in 30 different shades, and it matches all of her liquid lipsticks, and I guess her other lipsticks. I guess that's how she designed them. Duh. Okay, so I, I ha do have this on my lips, um, and uh, it is kind of creamy going on. This is the swatch for it. It is quite beautiful. Um, kind of a, what does it say here? Lolita. It says it's a chestnut rose. And I do find it's, for some reason, a little bit gray um, on me, on my lips. Sorry. Um, I do like it. I just feel like maybe this color is a little bit darker on kind of the gray side for my tone, but I do love it, and it does go on kind of weightlessness. It, it Weightlessness. Like, I, I can't... I don't know. Weightlessness. Weightlessness. I can't talk. <laughs> Anyhow, it does kind of smudge out a little bit. I did find that it blotches a little bit. I'm not sure if this is just this color or um, if the other ones do it, but I did find that it kind of, when I blotted, it stuck. And it kind of is a little streaky, a little blotchy, but not a big deal. It does go on really, really nice and smooth. It's not, it wasn't really pulley or anything like that. I like it, but I do think that a different color, such as Bow and Arrow, which is a fawn nude, um, or Lolita 2, which is a terracotta nude, um, would have been a little bit lighter for my skin tone. But I will use the hell out of it with some of my other stuff, and I will mix it. And, yeah, it will be great. And I love it. So this does retail at Sephora for $18. Um, her liquid lipsticks go for $20, I believe. I'm not sure what they go on her actual site for. I believe it's the same price. I wouldn't imagine she charged extra on her site, but yep, I like it. I think that if I was to rate it out of all of the lip liners, I'd say it's got to be like an 8 out of 10 because it is long-lasting, it is wearable, and in all the colors, the shades that she has, it matches really, really good. So I like it. I like it, and I think that it's worth a try. And I'm so... Happy as a clam that I got chosen by Influencer. Thank you, Influencer, um, for letting me try this for free to review. Thanks, guys, for watching, and until next time, peace out. Bye.